current economic conditions have led to an increasing number of failed businesses. As advisors to those companies, certified public accountants may be most at risk. In this exclusive interview, Ronald Klein of Cameco talks about the risks facing CPAs. The current economic climate is not good for professionals in terms of claims, uh, both frequency and severity. The number of claims and the size of claims are up, especially for CPAs and also less so for attorneys. And the reason is simple. When people lose money, uh, they sue more often than when they make money. When you look at uh, whether CPAs are vulnerable specifically because of the economic downturn more so than other professionals, I think there's a good argument to be made that unfortunately they are more vulnerable. Um, I think attorneys probably I would put up very close, but the CPAs usually in their role as an auditor uh, have a, a public watchdog role and that's the way it's perceived by the general public and by juries. And the courts have tended to go along with that, especially with recent legal theories like deepening insolvency and the like. So a lot of bad economic things happen. Uh, pretty much any size company gets an audit or review, and then all the creditors or people who lost money very often go after them. Most typical um, claim coming out of the economic downturn is what we would call a third party audit or review claim. Reviews are a slightly lower level of financial statement service than audits. Um, and by third party, what we mean is generally uh, the company that was audited or for whom the review was done has failed. It has obviously, since it has failed, has not repaid its bank line. And now the banks, the creditors, the performance bonding company, whoever happened to be, are coming back. Since they can't sue the company because the company has no money, they look to other professionals and most notably the auditors. Uh, at the top of the list. So that's a very common uh, scenario we have now. The, the other one which is less common but very large is what we call our investment scenario. Um, it could be an investment fraud, a Ponzi scheme or something like that. But somebody has been running an investment, a CPA again has been either assisting them with advice or even worse doing an audit and now the investment has gone sour. Uh, maybe it was fraudulent, maybe it was just a bad choice. People lose a lot of money and they sue people alleging that they wouldn't have made the investment but for the reliance placed on the audit. I think the best thing a CPA or other professional can do is employ a robust client acceptance process. And I think the big keys for a robust client acceptance process are one, make sure that the acceptance decision is not controlled by the partner who brings the work in, but somebody, if you will, independent from bringing the work in is looking at it. And two, understand that the client acceptance process is valuable even when you decide to accept the client. Uh, most firms, I know of no firm that has a robust client acceptance process and, and reaches the conclusion they're not going to take the client more than two or three or five percent of the time. But for all those other 95 or 97 percent of the time you decide to accept the client, a robust client acceptance process will allow you to, in advance, look at what might go wrong. And that might affect the scope of your work, the pricing of your work, as well as the decision to take it or not. So you're better able to staff that work, plan that work, and better able to get the job done. And that's probably the best thing you can, you can do.